Hello, viewers, and welcome to another edition of Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Andre Onduko, and along with my husband, Dr. Apu Onduko, we pastor Chapel of Grace, which is a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford, West Yorkshire. Our topic today is deliverance and divine insurance. Divine assurance, deliverance and divine assurance. Our Bible passage is from Mark 15, 17 to 18. As Mark 16, 17 to 18. It says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Our memory verse is Psalm 91 3. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the filer and from the perilous pestilence. As children of God, it is important for us to know our right in Christ Jesus. We are princes and princesses, and our words carry power. The enemies bow down when we speak. The memory verse that we have applied today says that surely, that means something that is not a guess, something that will happen without fail. God has promised in Obadiah 17, that in Mount Zion there will be deliverance and that the house of Jacob shall possess its possession. This must affect our attitude to the way we conduct deliverance. The devil and his demons understand hierarchy. They know what is important. They know the name that is above every other name and they are ready to bow down and surrender to that name, which is Jesus. However, they are also very tricky they want to involve you in conversation so that they can distract you from using the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Luke chapter 9 verse 1 that Jesus called the 12 disciples and gave them power and authority to cast out demons and heal all manner of sicknesses. That same power has been given to us too to cast out all manner of demons and heal all manner of sicknesses. It is therefore irrelevant what names the demons are called and how many they are. This is a good lesson to those of us who are ministers so that we don't get into conversations with the devil or his demons. All we need to do is command them to go out of the place where they are hiding in the name of Jesus. They have no option other than to obey as long as you are perfectly located in Christ and you have a relationship with him. The experience of the sons of Sceva in Acts chapter 19 is very instructive. The demon in that man told them that he knew Paul and Jesus, but he didn't know them. He descended heavily on them, beat them and tore their clothes and they fled away naked. Please be sure to have a relationship with Jesus. And when you do, the demons will obey you when you command them to go out of anyone that you minister to. I want us to note that when the, the Bible tells us in Matthew 28, 19 to 20, that we should, we, we should go into all the world, we should make disciples, part of that is uh, our ministry is to cast out demons. And if we are not doing that, then we are not completing the commission that we have been given. Because we have been given, it says, this sign shall follow them that believe. And a part of that is they shall cast out demons in my name. So if you believe in him and you are not yet um, taking courage to do that, then I encourage you today that is, you don't need any other skill than to know the name of Jesus. Apply the blood of Jesus and command them to live in his name and they will flee before you. Our action point today is a prayer point that, Father, please deliver me from the snare of the filer and protect me from the noisy and pestilence in Jesus' name. And I pray that God will mightily use you to carry out his mission in every area. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.